volumetric technology is the new way to represent real scenes or captured scenes. It's using a technology that represents a point cloud, so millions of points that gather together in order to promote a volumetric image, meaning that you can hover around if you had capture it in a way, and also it allows you to have a sense of presence, so the immersiveness of the experience is much better. The driving need is people want to have an experience that is no longer 2D or flat image. They want to be inside the content. So the idea is to give them that experience and to give them a technology that allows that presence to happen. One of the use cases that comes to mind is telepresence, meaning tomorrow you won't just listen or watch the person you're talking to on a 2D screen. You will be inside the environment where it's happening. You will be surrounded by the content. And to be able to do that, you need to use volumetric representation, so really a 3D environment, 3D asset inside that environment. Photo booth is an attempt to allow people to interact with the content, meaning we capture a person using 16 cameras, so an array of four by four cameras, and using the parallax item, we reproduce a volumetric content, a volumetric video. It's not a mesh plus texture, it's really a stream of images, so 16 streams of image plus a depth image that reconstructs the volumetric of the scene. So at the end, the trick is you are able to see yourself on your smartphone and using the accelerometer to be able to turn around and have a sense of 3D, a volumetric 3D image. The main technical challenge that needs to happen is streaming the volume of data. When we have 16 cameras that output 16 streams, 2K or 4K uh, images, you have huge data set that you have to transport over the network. So using a video codec like H.266 or HEVC is very important. And then also because you want to, for example, the use case of telepresence have real interactivity, you have to compute that in real time. So it's either capturing it on one side, transporting it through the network using a, a format, so for example, the volumetric format that handles the 16 stream of images for that 16 camera rig, and the metadata that reconstructs in the end in the rendering device at the user side, the volumetric experience, so re-decompressing the stream of video and reconstructing the volumetric stream. We have had real, real, the real that you capture using a traditional camera. And on the other end, you have CG or computer graphic assets that you reproduce from scratch using modeling and texturing uh, software. And in between, you have the slider that goes from completely real to completely virtual. So the extreme reality experience is putting more artificial virtual asset inside the real world, but putting it in a way that it's lit in the right way, represented, seated on the floor, on the table, or really in the environment, so that the user thinks it's real, but it's not real, it has been reconstructed. So in a way, extreme reality is putting CG not real asset in a real world and fooling the, uh, the user that it, th to pretend that it's real. We all like narrative stories. We all like to be told stories. So when, you ha when you're having a, an experience in extreme reality, you want a story to be, tell, to be told. Sorry. And that means it's very important 
to arrange a setting where the asset, where the experience is interacting with the user and tells a story. And that's entertainment. In Star Trek, you have the holodeck. And holodeck is the next telepresence or exchange between humans in the future. To achieve holodeck, you need to have holograms. So that's the future of video, that's the future of volumetric. And it needs to happen in a way that you can really sense that asset, the real, the real thing. Of course, we have seen Star Trek, we have seen Princess Leia in, in uh, Star Wars, and that builds up inside our head what the future wants, what we want for the future, what, what we want to be delivered with in terms of content and technology. So it's, a, it's a, a point where we see at, and us, scientists and technologists, we have to provide a technology to, to, to make that happen. So it's a, it's a battle between what the authors and the directors promote as a fiction scenario and what we can achieve with the technology, and we are constantly trying to achieve that dream in a way.